viewers, welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. Got our 2008 Toyota Matrix. It's got the big 1.8, and the lady says the toxic fumes in the cab are killing her. And we don't want her to die, so we looked at it. Uh, it is a little exhaust fumey in the car, and I thought I could hear the manifold leaking, and so uh, the other day when she was in, stuck the smoke machine in the tailpipe, and it's leaking around a crack in the manifold, I think. Uh, it's a header type pipe, you know, it's four pipes going into a general collector and I believe it's cracked around it. So, uh, long story short, as they say, we got us a manifold here from the upper. Uh, we've got an intake gasket too because it's got uh, lean codes and it's leaking out of the intake like crazy too. So we're going to do both manifolds, the intake and the exhaust. However, in this video, we're probably just going to be doing the exhaust manifold. I don't know what kind of show this is going to turn into. Uh, we got one from Napper, your classic 650-670, aka Reebok's Dorman, aka Hope It Works, aka probably a bad decision, uh, but we'll see. It's an exhaust mask. How bad can it be? It's heavy as a mother. This one's cast iron. I'm pretty sure the one that's on it is tubular. Don't be wrong. Let's get all the goodies out of the box here. We got some brackets. This is a regular unboxing. We got the gas. I think that's it. Save this in case we gotta send it back. Stick it in here for right now. Got your classic gasket donut. Got your bracket of some sort. We've got another donut here all smashed up, nice and oblong shaped, so that's good. Save that in case we need that. It's probably the one we do need. Under here. Maybe there's a couple different options. That one does fit, hopefully. Uh, I got a couple bolts here, one lock washer, a couple uh, spring bolt kits. Let's have a look at this. We're going to have to take the heat shields off it. Stall it. See what they say here. Maybe there's some useful information for us. General preparation instructions: stop, bang on tape, twist ties inside the manifold, blah blah blah. So nothing really useful there, from what I can tell. I will tell you this though: one little free tip Friday for you. If you're using a Dorman manifold, you make god dang sure that these holes are open. Now this sounds stupid, but under Ford manifolds, they are notorious for not getting all the casting out. And then you start it up and you got a single cylinder misfire and a lot of back pressure in that cylinder. Uh, so we'll shine a flashlight up through there and then have a look, make sure everything's open. Let's peel the shield off. Uh, I think this bracket probably goes on the side because there is a bracket that goes off to the block. Yeah, so this probably goes here. And then instead of making it precise, <laughs> you just make a big hole so it's got to hit eventually. So there must be another lock washer somewhere. So we'll take a poke around for that. I think we're in good shape. Let's fire up the torch, baby. Before we fire up the torch, we're going to try and give it the old fashioned. Now, somebody's already put an aftermarket converter on this, so it has relatively newer spring bolts in it. However, they put uh, the factory nuts on the manifold, they're gone, so they've got, uh, they've got those up there, those nuts. Let's see if we can't uh, get something out of here. I can't see crap. Almost felt like it was working, but I can't see. Let's see here. Uh, this is your first day, buddy. Hey, what do you know? What do you say? There's one down. Let's try it for the other side, I guess. Had to uh, slightly modify the lower heat shield. I think we can reach in there now. By slightly modify, I mean pry it out of the way. Uh, let's see, let me just leave this thing kind of hanging. No, no, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Pop 
popped off right at the last minute. Oh, actually it came off, so that's even better. Look at that, huh? Winner, winner. Let's see if we can get up there on that bolt that holds the bracket on. Which is this one right here. Yeah. Straight. And we get a swivel socket. We use a swivel socket because I like bleeding out of my mouth. One of these things that get you to every time. Come on, baby. Oh, all that piss in the morning. One thing I should have thought of is the logistics of filming something like this. Uh, <laughs> which. Uh, it's not really logistically possible, but we're going to give it our best. So this heat shield was like this when the lady brought it in, I assume, because somebody else probably already looked at this car and told the person the same thing. Uh, hard to say, but it saves us from taking out those two bolts, am I right? Uh, it's always nice following after a couple of clowns, especially when they don't put stuff back. At any rate, I am right, that is a tubular type system. We're gonna put a big old chunk of cast iron up in there. Uh, hopefully it fits well. We gotta unplug the O2 sensor. And then I'm just gonna, we're gonna give this away. I'll just finish getting this thing out of here. And then we're gonna have to uh, work on the manifold to head bolts, which hopefully don't give us a hard time. Okay. Nobody's here to see anything, are they? There can't be much on this little guy on down there. One wouldn't think. Uh, I'm wondering. Let's crack that O2 sensor out there. Just make darn sure we don't break it. That might give us more room to wiggle. Sometimes when I go home and I'm editing some videos, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Like, wow, oh, I can actually see that, huh? This is why I don't buy nice cameras or anything, because you stick them in places they shouldn't be stuck in. I just figured if I have real nice expensive camera equipment, I would be afraid to use it or blow sparks on it or get brake parts cleaner on it, you know. That old story. This thing is going to pull every single thread with it, so that's not going to come out. That's awesome. So now I've misquoted the job by a couple hundred dollar part probably. We'll throw a little panther pee on it, even though that won't do anything but make us feel better. Spritz her down. We all know that penetrating oil is a hoax. At least in the rust belt is. And run us back down tight. The problem is, I think the threads, the male portion of the threads on the O2 sensor, extend past in the bung and then they get all crudded up and there's nothing that you can do about it. So, ah, yeah, it's just gonna pull all the threads with it. What's up, Mrs. O? Oh, you're not just talking to yourself out here? No, it's not just a normal day. Ah. So what's up, old girl? This lady wants to know how it's going. Tell her, calm down, the car just got dropped off. I'm literally just starting on it. And so it's going fine? No, it's not. It's not oh. going fine. You but don't to... tell her that? No, don't tell her that. Comfort her, reassure her, be like, oh, he's working on it, he just got a late start, you know, film full of shit like we usually do. Stop. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. You want to talk to her? No. Just tell her I'm working. Do what we do. Just tell her. Tell her it's going great. Tell her if you're running any problems, we'll call her. There's oh. no sense of phone her full of feared panic at this point. Did you break anything yet? Not yet. So it is going great. Yeah. I'll ruin her day in about a half hour. Let her feel good for a little bit, okay? Okay. I think we're making some headway now, baby. Come on, man, it's Christmas time. Just come out of there. Leave me some threads. Alright. Oh, 
little goody goody. It's got threads. Maybe I was whining and crying over nothing. Maybe I would. Let's finish breaking off, will ya? Be nice to this old guy. Dress like the farmer's daughter day. Huh, Mrs. O? <laughs> Look at this kid. Check it. What do you got? What are you making for lunch? I'm making you a Christmas ham. Oh, is this apple crisp? Fresh corn off the cob, none of that crap from a can. We got here smashed potatoes, skin on. Mm -hmm. Oh, misses! Oh, are we there yet? I don't know if my thermometer works or not. It's a ham. It's already cooked. Who cares? It's true. You don't even have to warm it up. It's yeah, I know. The then it's good. Is it warm in the middle? Can we check it? It's probably warm on the outside. Oh my gosh! What kind of glaze did you put on that woman? Brown sugar, honey, mm -hmm. and Dijon. That thing's sweeter than you. How? Not good. really. How could they? Oh my gosh. Oh, if you guys could smell this. You know why it's not spiral, spiral cut? Because spiral cut ham sucks. <laughs> Is that a good enough reason? <laughs> That's good enough. If you buy a spiral cut ham, there's something wrong with your head. Yeah. Oh, man. This makes me want to quit my job. <laughs> Next. How about you just take some time off? Is lunch ready? Can I can I go put my tools away? Uh, I guess so. I guess so. It's ready? Yeah, uh, no, the corn's not. I don't think the corn's ready yet. We, didn't we cook the corn before we froze it? Yeah, but it's not hot. I don't think it's hot. Yet. Stick your finger in it. That'll make it boil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> All right, now that we've harassed Mrs. O, probably before we go eat lunch, we can take the pantry. I can't see crap down here. So we're going to take and just give it a liberal douching on basically anything that this is spraying on at this point. Looks good. Looks like we've probably saturated what we've come to saturate. But I can't see anything in the camera now. I'll go eat lunch with the very lovely Mrs. O. Eat our Christmas dinner. It's, today's not Christmas, but um, today is the Christmas Eve of Christmas Eve, the 23rd. So we'll eat three or four Christmas dinners. And uh, that's that. And then I think we'll come out here. Is there any bolts down here that are hard? I can't see. I'm just trying to do it by feel. One, two, three, four, five. I think I feel five bolts. Now let's go look at the other manifold real quick here. How many bolts are in that? One, two, yeah, so we're two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Same as the gas kit. Five bolts, yeah, so it should be a piece of cake, huh? I am a wreck. I don't even know if I got enough power to snap bolts off now. Oh, why do I eat lunch like that every day? It's because my wife makes lunch like that every day. It turns you into a train wreck, let me tell you. Oh, it should be illegal. Come on, baby. Yeah, 
it was good let me tell you what big ham guy myself I don't know about you guys but when it comes to oh we miss old makes Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner or any dinner really I'll take the old ham over a turkey any day I don't know about you guys let you put that down in the comment section what's your jam man I'm all stuffed up now and we had apple crisp and ice cream and then uh, for drinks we didn't have any milk but this is all got us some Dr. Pepper cream soda this is old never buys a soda but it's special a special dinner we get to have soda and her favorite is Dr. Pepper cream soda. Well, if I'm being honest, her favorite is Dr. Pepper cream soda and Jim Beam. But she said we can't have any booze here. Trading oil went too deep. stud come on baby grip oh <laughs> never mind that's weird it pulled that whole stud out this thing's coming off pretty easy huh it's unusual let's get a uh, inverted torx here I'm gonna take it, just spin that back in the head. I thought that was gonna be stuck on there pretty good, but it came off pretty easy. Yeah, man, it's awesome trying to clean what you can't see, huh? <laughs> we'll have to use the old uh, the old mirror trick, I call it. So I'm gonna take and get this head cleaned up the best I can. I'm gonna use the old carbide scraper here. Hold it flat. Let's clean up around all these ports and then we'll probably use one of the whizzy wheels with the aluminium safe bristles you know the yellow bristles or the white ones there but i want to get the big chunks off using a mirror and a scraper here Good. It's 
So before we stick the Chinese one down in there, I did take the bolts out of the heat shield because the way this one's designed, it's gonna be quite a bit more difficult to get to uh, the center bolt here. So I think I'm gonna be better off getting to it from perhaps from underneath. So I wanted to leave this loose, but I'm gonna stick it in there, holding it on there in case once it's in, you know, we can only manipulate it out of position, but we can't get it out all the way, if that makes sense. Uh, we'll see, I mean, just bear with me, folks. This one looks like it'll fit a little easier because we don't have the bracket attached. Let's see if we can't sneak it down here. I did put the gasket on the head already. Okay. And then I'm gonna take and just put the, uh, these nuts on there, these ones right here, and then kind of, we'll start snugging her up. We might be able to get in there with a the ratchet wrench. Oh yeah, I think we will. Yeah, shoot, I should have left that shield on there, I guess. We probably won't be able to get in there with our torque wrench when we come back through and you know torque everything to factory specs but we'll get her close what's going on down there What the frig, man? Did I get the wrong size? <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> okay, okay. Rule, rule number one. Always use the appropriate size. Let's see if a 12 millimeter works better than a 14. Hey, look, what do you know? It actually snugs up. Idiot. <laughs> Let's see there. So we gotta go through. We'll get the rest of these snugged up here. And then probably should grab a ratchet. I don't even know if you guys can see, but just take my word for it. I'm going through and torquing all the bolts to factory specs in the correct uh, torque sequence also which is super important don't don't get out of sequence there's that one oh too early there pal just a minute These are all torquing down the spec there. Grab my other torque wrench here. All right, we got them all. put that heat shield back on that wasn't too big a deal honestly to get back on there so then we've got this little bracket thing here I don't know if it really does much but we'll, we'll attempt to put it back on here they lined up there probably have to start with the bottom one it'd be a little easier Called the show. It's kind of crazy how much the lighting sucks on the camera. Not a camera guy, so but I can see great. The lighting is absolutely beautiful here. Uh, let's see. No, that's not even going to be in the ballpark. Thank you very much, Dorman. 
yeah, I mean, we're, despite the fact that they cut a gigantic hole in it, uh, we're still three quarters of the hole off. Let me take it off and flip it around. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not, but as it is right there, it's not even in the ballpark. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to flip it around because then it won't fit the manifold, I don't believe. Right? Let's see, yeah, we can't, uh, we can't flip it upside down because then it doesn't, it doesn't fit the manifold. So it actually only fits one way. And the way that it fits, it puts it so far off that you wouldn't even be able to get a bolt in it, so. Not a big surprise, you know, most of the stuff Dorman makes doesn't fit, so uh, we're just gonna leave that off because we have no choice. It's kind of pathetic that they chop a <laughs> seven eighths of an inch hole in it and still can't hit the, hit the mark. <laughs> you had one job, Dorman, <laughs> one job. Make a manifold fit, wow, great. I've installed our donut in there. So then we're going to get these uh, spring bolts, hopefully get them started. Well, what the heck here, baby? Yeah, it should be. That, that one's tiny. Yeah, it's kind of pathetic about like that bracket, you know? I'm not gonna sit here and rain on Dormant's parade. I mean, everybody knows their parts are garbage. But what baffles me is when you look, when you follow them, and I'm not saying I don't own stock in Dormant because it continually goes up. But that just blows my mind. Here's a company that makes 90% of their parts are complete shit, but they sell billions of them. A multi million dollar over billion dollar rather, soulless company. And they make products like this that don't even, they don't even come close to fitting. Like, yeah, the manifold fits, but the bracket, come on. What would it, would it take? 15 seconds to make this? <laughs> and it doesn't fit a single vehicle. But if you call and tell them, it's like, oh, you're the only one, we want to take care of you. Join our product testing team, blah, 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 blow smoke. Blow smoke. <laughs> and then people are asking too in the comments, well, why didn't you use OEM? Well, the fact is, this car ain't got six months left in it before it breaks in half. So, a couple of cheap parts, keep the lady happy. Get it to the end of inspection, send it to the crusher. And unfortunately, I think that's what a lot of dormant parts do. They're band-aid fixes, they don't fit worth a crap, and it just gets people to the junkyard. Yeah, enough whiny crybaby, crybaby, and about that, the more whiny crybaby. But it's just kind of sad, really. You know, to see a company monopolize the auto industry like that and then just be driven by money and greed more than quality products, it just kind of sucks. Oh well, it ain't the first time we've seen it, folks. Probably ain't gonna be the last. All right, so I'll tighten up the uh, shield there. We got the O2 tightened up. We'll get that plugged in before I start. I'm going to take and knock out this uh, manifold gasket here if we can. The intake manifold. Uh, I've done videos on those in the past, so I'm probably not going to probably not going to show that. They're quite easy to do. I actually, I want to say it's one of the OG SMA videos. I think I did a Pontiac Vibe, or maybe it was a Matrix that we did an intake gasket on. This one's leaking pretty significantly. I think I even showed, it might have been one of the first two or three videos I did, actually. Why would I remember that? I don't know, but. Oops. Okay, 
Oops. Yeah, everything's torqued to spec. Fantastic. Intake gasket is on. 138k on this pig. She is a three pedaler. One of these things. We'll put that in the middle gear. Ooh. Starts. The lights. We should have a fair amount of smoke though. That's gonna be that's always the good part about a new manifold. I don't even hear any leaking from that donut. Wow, way to go dormant. Better stick our hands down here before it gets too hot. Yeah, I don't feel any air. Right there, let's go underneath it. Okay, I better stick my hand up here. Hold on, folks. I know you can't see, but... I don't hear anything, I just want to make sure I don't feel anything. I'm really impressed. A lot of times those aftermarket donuts on Toyotas do not like the seal, and I oftentimes end up getting the OEM donut. But she does start smoking here pretty heavy. Uh, we got to throw a scan to on it, too. I want to see where the fuel trims are sitting now. That intake gasket is leaking pretty bad. Wow, beautiful. I guess uh, despite the uh, fail on the bracket, everything else seems okay uh, for what it is. But like I say, we ain't got much time, baby. Not at all. 2000 you know, the fumes are bad. Wait till she starts smelling the Chinesium burning off this thing. We'll go out and drive it. And uh, get the stinky stink gone off there. Of course, like I say, I gotta verify. Gotta do some verification anyways. I think we're in good shape, folks. There you have it, folks. Replacing the exhaust manifold on your Matrix or your Pontiac Vibe or any of your Toyotas with that big 1.8 liter. I think it's a 1.8. Yeah, it's a 1.8. Uh, pretty easy and uh, also do the classic PO 171 now don't always just go winging uh, Intake gaskets at them For that code these things do have a tendency also to have injectors that fail and I think we've done a video on that too using the Pico scope to do uh, an injector drop test These don't have to vary a lot. Let's say the first one drops 30 pounds next one drops 28 that's pretty close, but that's enough to cause lean coats. Toyotas are pretty sensitive to injectors too, so uh, keep that in your noodle. Also keep in your noodle not to use a dormant part if you're going to keep your car for long term, but if it's something like this where you're just, you know, you're just trying to get by, you're going to drive it, take it, crush it, good time to use that part because uh, some of their stuff is a little disappointing, we'll say. Anyhow, don't disappoint me. Go into that comment section. Go down there. Leave your comment. The questions, the Insta, the Facebook. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.